Minister, I have to thank you sincerely from the bottom of my heart. You stood shoulder to shoulder with the Tamil community with unwavering support for the passage of Bill 104. Thank you so much, Minister. And in particularly, you spoke so passionately in the Ontario legislature in support of Bill 104, a movement that I and many Tamil Ontarians will never forget. And because of your efforts and my colleagues' support, I'm, hum I'm humbled and honored that the seven-day period in each year ending on May 18th has been proclaimed as Tamil Genocide Education Week in Ontario. This was a historic moment for Tamil people in Ontario, Canada, and across the world. Many community organizations, especially Tamil youth, who played a key role in advocating for interventions and continue to share how the trauma of Tamil genocide continue to affect them today. We are prepared in, and very deliberative in our choice of words that we recognize the genocide that transpired against the innocent Tamil people. Um, and a genocide that has left over 140,000 innocents perished uh, at the hands of the regime in Colombo. And I think it speaks great volumes that our, our province passed legislation led by VJ that will forever remember the horror of the genocide and remember the victims and their stories as we embed it into our education, into our curriculum and into future consciousness of our country. The genocide is real. Uh, and the persecution of innocent people because of their faith or ethnicity or language uh, is something that as Canadians, we must denounce. And so we're here recognizing as a first principle that there was a genocide, recognizing that there was harm done and inflicted on multitude of generations that we still feel this pain today. And we wouldn't be able to do this if uh, in the context of helping to support treatment and recovery for these young people and their families if we didn't have strong partners. It's why today uh, we're very excited and proud uh, to be partnering with the Canadian Tamil Academy to announce over $48,950 in funding for the Canadian Tamil Academy that will provide students with informational tools, with resources, with mental health supports to cope with the stress of the trauma of this most disturbing experience in genocide in a way that is culturally sensitive, in a way that will bring people together and unite the Tamil community. And through these more culturally relevant programs, we are finally giving Tamil resources for the Tamil community led by the Tamil community. Uh, I think that's very important. Dating back to the 1980s, and many have since suffered in silence. This provincial funding from the Ministry of Education will certainly assist many Tamil teens and children struggling with the mental health and addiction and help future generation of Canadian Tamils connect with their culture, language, and of course, their past. Keep up the great work, Tamil Academy, in helping empower future generation of Tamil Canadians. So today's announcement comes so timely to Tamil Heritage Month. It strengths, strengthens our government's commitment to Tamil communities in Scarborough and across Ontario. Uh, following our government's full support in passing the Tamil Genocide Education Week Act last May. And for that, I have to give lots of credit to MPP Vijay Thandikasalam. Uh, thanking the government of Ontario in granting this funding and specially needed cause. Also, just a brief background about the Canadian Tamil Academy. Um, the Academy has been in operation for the last 30 years and educating youth on language and fine arts in uh, creating a um, intelligent uh, community educated and exemplified by Vijay, who was a student here, and we have Saranya, who is working in the background. Um, there are about approximately more than 15,000 students who have studied over this uh, period. Dear friends, uh, it is my great honor and pleasure to be here today with you to witness this important announcement. As the grandson of a survivor of the Armenian genocide, I know what it means to witness and to transmit that 
trauma from one generation to another because as long the perpetrator, they do not recognize the heinous crime. That trauma transmits from one generation to another. I am a third generation of a survivor of the Armenian genocide. I still suffer from the trauma of the genocide. I haven't been the witness, but the psychological effect on uh, the in, uh, generation is very, very uh, powerful because when you stand up in any circumstances and someone questions your family, your community, your nation, history, and what you have gone through, that creates a trauma for you. And uh, it is happening uh, to me, it is happening to every genocide survivor nation, victim nation. That's why it is important, all of us, we stand together to fight this courage of denial of a genocide by anyone.